My name is Mohammed Nadeem. I was born in Pakistan and I came here when I was about three years old. I went to Demi Juniors, sorry, Demi Infants, Demi Juniors, and then uh, Demi High School. Then I went to Luton Sixth College. I started working in, the, in London. Yeah, that's where my actual business started from in the markets. And that's where I learned everything from. After my A-levels, I went to into the markets in the London Spitalfields Market. And I used to work uh, for my uncle as a cashier. And then uh, after that, I started bringing products back from uh, the market. Like, for example, garlic, when they used to throw that away, I used to bring it back uh, and um, uh, kind of re-clean the garlic up, take the snips off and then sell it back to the shopkeepers. I was only about 17 years old and I used to go to the shopkeepers. And the shopkeepers used to actually laugh at me and say, you're a little kid, we don't want to buy from you. So slowly, slowly I used to go again and again and again. I never took no for answer. And then they started, they started buying stuff from me. So slowly, slowly I became the biggest wholesaler in the country. Um, I had two, three lorries and I was, you know, I was, because the thing is I was buying stuff at really, really cheap. I was buying cheaper than the market. So I was actually giving me supply back to the market. Um, slowly, slowly, then after the food and veg, I started going to properties. Uh, the first shop I bought was, uh, it was a Midland Bank in uh, Bury Park. I mean, Bury Park is very uh, Asian oriented now, but at the time there was no Asian people in Bury Park. It was all English people here. So the bank we bought first and we made it into a Euro Halal cash and carry. And today it's one of the biggest um, cash and carries in, uh, in Luton. And uh, slowly, slowly, you know, we, you know, we kind of ventured out. Once, once we went, went to business, we ventured out. We, we do properties now. We do, we got a chauffeur driving company where we uh, chauffeur drive uh, people for weddings and everything. And uh, we've, we've opened a beautiful restaurant called Marhaba. Uh, in town centre and we're opening another one uh, called the Dubai Shisha Lounge in um, Belechli. My younger brothers are kind of kind of handling all the business. My job is just to set up the businesses and their job is to kind of maintain it and handle it. So alhamdulillah it's, 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 it's uh, God's blessings and it's uh, my parents' uh, dua and I think without this dua a person can't really move forward so we're blessed in that way. Mashallah, I'm very, very uh, successful businessman in Luton and in especially in the Bury Park community. This is all hard work, honesty and determination. And uh, no, as well, as well as business, you know, I like to give back to my community. I do a lot of charity events. I do a lot of charity work. I give to charities as well. Uh, I think that is the key to success in terms of this is the town that actually made us successful. So it's our duty to give back to the town and I think it's very important that we, you know, we do a lot of charity work. I mean, we do, you know, we, we collected money for uh, Pakistan flood victims. Uh, we raised £250,000 for one night. So, you know, there's a lot of local charities I work with, including L&D Hospital and, uh, you know, Human Appeal. So there's quite a few, you know, uh, charities I work with to do local charity work. I'm a very established businessman, but uh, I don't have any interest in politics at the moment. But I do help our local politicians out. Um, you know, we're very lucky in Luton. We have 17 uh, Muslim councillors. Uh, you know, it's it, you know, it's really happening in Luton at the moment, and we're very proud of our councillors. And we've, I feel very passionate about that. We need to select um, young councillors, able councillors. Uh, people that could represent our community, people that have been educated in the UK and they can represent our community. And that's, that I think is very important for us because, uh, you know, we this is our town, this is our you know country now, you know, we're, we're part of the British uh, system now. So we need able councillors to stand up and to represent our communities. Uh, we're standing right on top of Nadeem Plaza in the middle of Bury Park, Luton. Uh, this is a hub for the businesses in uh, Luton. We have all sorts of shops, uh, ranging from clothes shops to grocery shops to uh, takeaways. We have the best chicken and chips in, Lu in the whole country. Uh, you know, we, 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 you know, we don't care if you're Christian, you're Muslim, you're Jew. We want you to come and shop in Bury Park. So nowadays people say, oh, you want to go to that shop? Go past the deep plaza on the left hand side and you'll get to there. So, we, you know, we're very lucky. We've got a very diverse community here. Uh, we've got all sorts of cultures here, very multicultural and we're very proud of our diversity.
Yeah, I told you to uh, get the new tenants for the shop. So are they all done, yeah? Yeah, bro, it's done, man. Okay, okay so no, wicked, 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 wicked. We're very proud uh, to be from the Pakistani Kashmir community, and we're very proud to be very su successful uh, in Luton. Uh, we have a beautiful, beautiful mosque that's made to measure built uh, just there in my background, and um, this mosque is one of the first. Uh, made to measure built mosques in Luton and we're very you know we've got so much facilities we've got you know you know uh, community icons like Haji Shafai and Mal Pinu that kind of bring our community to, together and uh, they kind of facilitate our youngsters and try to you know get the youngsters to do better things in, in our community and the best thing about our central mosque is this is only one of the first mosques in the country that does uh, uh, you know a live azan so it just makes you feel like that you're in either in Mirpur or Kotli and you got the azan whenever the five times praise are the azan is given live which is an absolutely amazing feeling I think one really good news for Luton Berkshire is that our airport is becoming international it's doubling its flight capacity uh, there's a lot of people traveling from uh, Luton airport to all over the world destinations and that is going to create us more jobs uh, more businesses want to come into Luton uh, we've got our own football club we've got a massive university which we have a lot of international students coming for, to the university and um, you know Luton is very uh, you know is, I think I think I personally think it will be a city status very soon because Luton everything is going right for Luton at the moment Yeah, you know, we're very lucky that our parents came here uh, in the 1960s and they kind of uh, educated us, they brought us up, you know, at the beginning we had, we had really, really small houses. I, I think the key to success is um, following your role models uh, and it's all about doing stuff for the community. Whichever business I did, I, I wanted to know how I could help the community out. And uh, it's very important that we follow uh, our guidelines and follow uh, good road role models and that can help us in business and the main thing is I think I th really really think and I feel passionate about is it's your parents du'as it's your mom's and dad's du'a that really takes you to whatever and, and it's hard work it's honesty you know you have to get up early in the morning you have to build your business up you have to build a good reputation up and I, th I, and I think this is what we've done we've built a good reputation up and uh, we're very well known in the community this is uh, Burry Park we just entered into Burry Park now uh, as you see, it's very, very busy as normal. Um, Burry Park is uh, always busy like this. There's a few issues we have in terms of traffic problems. Uh, we don't have enough parking in Burry Park. And um, this is this is the first shop that I opened, Euro Halal Cash and Carry. And um, it's, it's one of the busiest shops at the moment. I still own it. And uh, I've got people working And now. From when you get to here, you see the Nadim Plaza. So wherever you are in Burry Park, uh, whichever shop you're in, first thing you'll see is Nadim Plaza. It's a landmark. Uh, Nadim Plaza is a landmark of Luton. It's a landmark of Burry Park, and uh, it's uh, very prestigious. And uh, it's really good to see your own name on on the building, and everyone in you know, like say Nadim Plaza, you know. So that's amazing feeling you have that your own name is on top of a building, and this was one of the first plazas in the UK that had the name on it so um, so uh, yeah it's a good feeling we uh, as a business as Nadim Plaza we've been winning a lot of awards Luton's best awards we were the runners-up uh, community business person award we won a lot of awards from Luton police uh, we get a award from Luton Police every year for our community co cohesion uh, with the Luton Police and to help our community. Uh, we won the Best Businessman of the Year Award, the Best Fundraiser Award, the People's Choice Award. Uh, you know, for the last three, four years, we have won numerous uh, awards and uh, we're happy to, you know, uh, be part of the community. We're happy to represent our community. Also, these are a few pictures of um, uh, Burry Park when Burry Park was like uh, a co-op uh, in the 1960s and if you notice there's no agents there there's no um, you can't see one one agent in there so now it's full of agents 
and it's a, a community hub at the moment. Even I got this uh, community award as well, uh, the People uh, Choice winner. I was uh, for uh, you know for the South uh, Midlands, and uh, you know this is uh, all the uh, awards that we've got uh, from Luton uh, Pride. Um, you know we have been getting a lot of awards over the years. If you ever visit the UK, you need to visit Bury Park. Uh, if you don't visit Bury Park, uh, you're gonna miss out on all these lovely shopping experiences, these lovely community experiences, and your trip will not be complete. Now we actually love Luton, and uh, we think it's a fantastic place to live in, uh, absolutely fantastic place to work in. Um, so you know, the media sometimes portrays it really bad that Luton is not a nice place, but Luton is uh, a beautiful place to live in. Luton, and uh, it's a business hub. And uh, you know that some of the prices that you'll find in uh, Bury Park, Luton, you won't find even in London uh, in terms of the food and veg prices. And you know, especially Bury Park, we want all sorts of communities to come there. We basically need your business. So wherever you're from, you want a bargain, you come to Bury Park. As well as uh, being a prominent businessman of Luton, I have very good relationships with some high profile people like Shai Zafidi, he's been to my house, uh, he comes, you know, has tea with me. Uh, Amir Khan, the boxer, the international famous boxer, uh, he's been around to our restaurants, he's a very good friend of mine. Uh, and other high profile figures, uh, we had a, a, a great opening of our restaurant with uh, Fryal Maktoum, Amir Khan's wife, and a lot of other high profile dignitaries, you know, Ibrara, Haka, I met him. So it's good to have a good business sense of humor and business relationship and it's good to, uh, you know, work with these high profile figures as well because they also promote your business as well. We have lots of shops selling these uh, designer clothes, but this one's called Insaf Fabrics. Very nice. We also celebrate uh, Chandrat in uh, Bury Park. Uh, outside Nadine Plaza, we have many artists, we have people doing face painting, we have people making food, we have people collecting charity uh, to remind us that that's our most duty to help people that are most needy. And um, we celebrate John Rath like, you know, uh, with fireworks and with, we get drummers out, all years out. And you know what, it's amazing, you know, if you are a person that's come from abroad, you're a person that's come from Pakistan, you're a person that's come from Kashmir, you'll find out that, you know what, you're sitting at home right here in Bury Park. We love Bury Park. We love Bury Park. Currently, I like uh, watching cricket. Uh, I'm a great fan of Pakistan cricket team. Uh, whenever they won the champion trophy, we celebrated in the middle of Bury Park. <laughs> Just want to congratulate the whole Pakistan nation for winning this beautiful game. We be in here. This is the biggest game in the country, and we won. Pakistan! And it was amazing. You know, we actually put Bury Park to a standstill, and uh, the flags were out, and you know, people were hugging each other and celebrating, and it's just an amazing feeling. It felt like that. You know, we're in the center of Pakistan, so we're Islamabad, Lahore, Karachi, and you know. Our community is very passionate about cricket and when we beat India, it was the most amazing feeling in the world. I can never ever describe anyone that feeling and celebrating it right in the hub of our community. You know, the traffic was absolutely standstill. And you know what? We had police officers that were dancing with us. And that was amazing, seeing a local a police officer celebrating with our happiness it was amazing uh, i also done an apprentice style pro program with the students from luton sixth college i worked with the students from sixth college to create an apprentice style program i was sir alan sugar and uh, we uh, selected apprentice and um, just hope that you get hired <laughs>